Uh, Coach, um, you know, obviously tough losing Jabari that early in the game. What can you say about your guys' effort without him? I mean, I thought they did a great job competing, but that's what we're supposed to do, um, and that's part of our program. So that part is un should be understood. Uh, but it's a big loss, especially on the offensive side of the ball, uh, that level of production. Uh, and then so you have guys playing multiple minutes or more minutes than they normally play uh, against a team of that caliber. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but I thought the guys did a great job battling and competing. Coach, um, a lot of people do always say the interchangeable parts and the versatility. When that team goes forward now, like last year in a one-day prep, why are they so? What makes them so difficult to prep for? If if you haven't seen that, well, I'm not sure uh, what makes them difficult to prep. We thought we did a good job prepping against them. We just lost the game. Uh, I thought it went down the wire, but I don't, I don't know if there's anything difficult about prepping. We just lost the game against a team in our league. Yeah. Uh, well, I think what happens. I, I think that the thing that for if you haven't seen them is Boucher uh, because. You watch him on film, you think he's a, he's a big guy, and he blocks shots. So those two things come to your mind. You think he's around the rim. But he's really a guy that plays on the perimeter. Uh, so now all of a sudden, if you've got a traditional big defending him, most bigs run to the rim. He runs to the wing or to the corner. If he's making shots, then that's a tough thing to go against. This is for Ivan or Grant and Grant. Um, when did you guys know that Jabari was out and probably not coming back? Um, well, I saw him on the ground. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. Um, we didn't really have time to really think about it. Um, guys stepped up and they played played hard, and, and it is what it is. Go yeah, ahead. Thank you, Elliot Almond, Bay Area News Group. Grant, um, can you just give us your emotions uh, when your senior, your fellow senior leader? goes out like that in, in this huge game with so much on the line? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to see a guy um, go down like that. I, you know, I've actually had um, problems with, with head injuries before, so I definitely know what he's feeling and know, and know what he's going through. So I just hope he's doing well and um, he makes a speedy recovery. Konzo, this is the second year in a row that you've had a major postseason game and been had to play it without key performers. Uh, you feeling a little bit jinxed by that? Not at all. Not at all. It's part of the game. I, not at all. We, we, you have 13 scholarships. NC allows you 13 scholarships. My job is to have 13 guys ready to play. So we have enough. We just came up short. Not at all. It's part of the game. Myron Metcalf, ESPN for Ivan. Uh, how hard was it to maneuver in the paint uh, against that length and size at the half? Uh, really, it was like an every game thing. I'm, I've been dealing with that pretty much all year, so I just tried to do the best I can I could to <coughs> take care of the ball and um, try to get the easiest shot possible. But I mean, Oregon does a good job walling up, trying to block shots. So um, I just got to continue to play and fight through it. Uh, Grant, this uh, you know, 23 points. You shoot seven for eight, five for five from three. At, at what point did you kind of feel like you were in the zone? And what's it like when you're when you're stroking it like that? Um, I kind of go into the same game with the, the – I mean, every game with the same mentality. Um, you know, that I think just that game they were falling. But once you see a few go in, it obviously helps your confidence. Um, yeah, I think a lot of my shots were off of bo broken plays, and Charlie and those guys were just able to find me. Right here. Conzo, most of the media people, the bracketology types, have said you needed to win this game to get into the NCAA tournament. What do you look for going forward now after tonight? Uh, nothing really. Just I mean, I think we're NCAA tournament team now. It's for them to decide. But after that, nothing really. Because again, it, it, it's for me. It, I, I don't know. I don't. I really don't care what they say. I'm not consuming what they say. For me, it's a whole season. So it's a body of work. So if that's not good enough, then it's not good enough. I didn't go into this game thinking we had to win to get into an NCAA tournament. We went into this game so we can win the Pac-12 tournament. That was our goal. Uh, Ivan, um, four for 12 from the floor. I'm sure you would have liked to do a little better. What were they doing defensively uh, to kind of slow you down? Double teaming me. That's pretty much pretty much it. Uh, shots, I didn't make, I missed a few easy ones too, but just doubling. So I kind of had to force a few shots, but part of the game. From here. Conzo, Jabari held Dorsey pretty much in check. I think he was 5 of 18 in the previous two games that you had played. 
against him without Jabari on the court, how much more difficult was it to contain Tyler Dorsey? Well, he just played well. He's a good player. I mean, he's, he's a good player. I mean, they have good players around him. So it just you, you, you'll give up some against those guys. Um, uh, and that's what talented teams, they have multiple guys that can make plays. So it's not, we don't go into a game plan saying there's one guy we have to stop. They have good players. They got guys that can make shots. They can score at the rim. Uh, they stretch you out with the three-point shooting. Uh, but, you know, other guys defending them well. But it's just it was his night tonight. He played well. What are your thoughts on the 13 minutes that Dylan Brooks was out? You guys seemed to have an opportunity there. And instead, while well, their lead got up to as much as 13, it still went up from five to seven by the end of that stretch. Uh, I think, again, that's a, t- a sign of a good team. I mean, I guess the same people that say whether or not we're on the bubble or not, that's the same people that say they can win a national championship. So I, I would imagine that that means they're a pretty good team. Uh, and, and they can play, you know, five, six, seven, eight guys. So just part of it. I mean, they're, they're a good team.